I'm Kristen Cooper. I'm an Olympic medalist from way back in 1984 in Giant Slalom. Yeah, my first experience of the power of nature was the ocean, actually. I grew up um, on the ocean in Southern California, a family of five. We were just constantly in the waves and playing on the beach and all that stuff. And um, I basically learned about the mountains by by force. <laughs> my father died of, of cancer when I was 10 and my mom with five kids didn't want to raise us in the city anymore and she was driving us all the time and, and she wanted us to be closer to nature again and now that we were all in school and everything so she threw us on a train and we moved up to Sun Valley, Idaho where she'd been when she was young. Um, she'd skied there and fallen in love with it and it was a fully dirt street town at that time that was uh, late 60s only main street was paved and yeah we learned a whole different uh way of being with nature again um i fell in love with skiing right away i'd learned how to ski already but um all the kids were doing it and i wanted to join them and it was just um automatic and my my father had been a real speed uh, demon. He raced cars and motorcycles and boats and it had always been about moving through nature and so skiing, ski racing really appealed to me. I think I kind of kept my father alive through the speed that I found in skiing and that was really powerful for me. What I learned from, from the way we trained in Sun Valley was that it's all about adapting to conditions and it's all about skiing the mountain, not the course, you know, and what it gives you, what the weather gives you that day and being up for it even on a foggy, terrible, sleep-filled day that it's like, okay, everyone else is freaking out, I'm gonna just get into this. And that's what we always did at home. And, and really, success on the World Cup is about that. Not to say it isn't really, really hard, right? Like, traveling in Europe with your competitors in a very competitive environment, in your teens and early 20s, when you're just figuring things out and figuring out relationships is hard. And um, one of the things that I talk to kids about is how important it is to allow yourself to be vulnerable. Um, allow yourself to be scared and miss home and all that stuff because you, it's very easy to stop your development really early and just say, I need to be tough. In ski racing, you need to be tough. It really makes you face your fears because you know you still have to get in the gate and go whether you're afraid or not. And so what do I focus on instead? What can I do? What can I control? And that's one of the great lessons of skiing. So the process of learning how to win is and and handle success and handle failure is is a long process that's ongoing, right? Like throughout life. Certainly when you're racing on the World Cup, there you, you're spending so much time training and traveling and it's, it's a minute amount of time that you actually race. So all that other stuff has to be valuable. And I think I had people in my lives that kept reminding me of that. Like, hey, are you having fun? Like, look at where you are. Look at, you know, who you're meeting and what you're doing. And reminding, me that that entire process was what was going to make me successful like embracing the whole process of being in Europe and working on this thing um, needed to be what what I was committed to not just the winning and a really good friend of mine Tamara McKinney a great one of the greatest women racers from America ever she said just take it one turn at a time she stood with me in the start and said it's just one left turn and then one right turn. So don't go think any further ahead than that. And that was brilliant because like that's the whole Zen approach to life that works anyway, right? Like it's, you were only working on this moment. So take this moment and go from this moment to that moment, to that moment, to that moment. And yeah, that was, that was great advice. It's really easy to think that the failure you had today means that you are a failure. And of course it doesn't mean that. It means that you are a great, champion, a great person who failed today. And what can I look at? Why did that happen? And you look at that. Once you get on the US ski team, you, you people would think, wow, you've, you've made it. But really, it's like 
that that becomes the norm and now it's you know unless I win a World Cup race I'm, I'm a failure well getting 10th in a World Cup race is 10th in the world on that day that's a great accomplishment these are things that we need to remind ourselves of um, and that allows the stepping stone to continue I think you just have to spend time at each, at each level and I spent a lot of time at the fifth and sixth and third and fourth level before I learned how to win and it's really different right like Getting third and fourth, you're still one of the best in the world. You're hundreds away from winning. But really having the confidence to go out of the start gate and leave everything on the mountain and ski with complete abandon, it takes a different mindset and it just takes time to get there.